Is this horror or edgy action? Uh, the name is Alone in the Dark, and it has, like, some grunge on the text. So you tell me. Look around. It appears I'm in a hospital bed. Oh, God. They're gonna make me walk around. My vision looks like this. Yeah, no wonder I bumped into the freaking wall. I can't... I can't... I can't... Is there, is there a ghost beating me up? What's happening? Blink to clear your vision. This game has a dedicated blink button. <laughs> you can blink? You have dedicated blinking? Oh, this is the best game ever. Switch to first person view. Oh, I'm in third person now. It's a first person and third person game? Oh man. Talk about ambitious for the PS3. Open your jacket and check the items you've collected. Oh, oh God. That's the inventory? Oh no. It looks like I dropped down there. Oh, car, car, car. How did a car get flung like 500 feet into the air to smash me? You can first person during the rope climbing sequence? Why would you want to do that? But you can. That's It's cool that you can go first person during the uncharted climbing. I don't know why you would ever want to look at your guy's hands that closely, but it is an option. Got any dialogue? Anything to say? No? Okay, bye. This game's a little too realistic. She's one of my hosts now, as you once were. You, my most perfect puppet. Fade the black? You fade to black on that scene? Directed, what? Designed by, huh? Okay, there's a continue. It's gonna keep going, right? Okay, okay. Why, <laughs> why did it have a credits in the middle of the cutscene? Why was there a credit sequence during that? You, you really gotta stay still late. My aiming is very rigid. There we go. Are you dead? 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 He's not dead. Use objects to fight when your gun is out of ammo. Okay, so the gun can't kill them, it looks like. Yeah, the, the gun couldn't kill her, but hit her with the chair. That'll work. Oh, the chair broke. I have, like, no health. I got no health left. Oh, what the... I think she's dead now. Kill monsters for good by using fire to drag her into a fire? Ooh, hang on. What if I light the chair on fire and hit her with the burning chair? Will that kill her? Come on. Give me that emergent gameplay. Give me the emergent game. Oh, she's running away. She knows it's gonna get her. Does it work? Oh, it does! The last lady I tried to save got turned into a zombie and I lit her on fire, so... I don't have high hopes for her. Oh, I got give her a boost? No way. This has boost up your companion gameplay, just like Last of Us? Dude, Last of Us sucks compared to this. You can light a chair on fire in this game. Give me the lighter. Here we go. Now I have a lighter and med spray. Can I combine the lighter and the medical spray to make like a makeshift flamethrower? Like when you hold a lighter in front of hairspray? Okay, I now have the medical spray and the lighter equipped in my hand. So can I flamethrower? Oh, you can! Dude, it works! No way. I think I just used up my med kit on a flamethrower attack, but that was awesome. That was so worth it. Holy crap. This game rocks. When this game started, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be uncharted climbing through like fumbling hallways and occasionally fighting a zombie. I did not expect to drive through exploding New York in a fully rendered car explosion scene. Oh God, a ramp, I have no speed. I have no speed for this. Meet me at the museum, Edward. Room 943. No! <laughs> what? What was that? Uh, let's go ahead and call 911. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. This is this is a mobile phone. This is this is like an iPhone. Why? <laughs> Why does the iPhone have a rotary phone UI? I mean, I know it's because the control stick, but still. Why is it a rotary phone? Uh-oh. Oh, I can balance the bus. Get up. Get up, oh, I'm dead. Ooh, sewer level, nice. Always a highlight. Oh, sewer level with electric traversal puzzles? Oh, you shouldn't have. This is like Half-Life Alex. right now in the sewer section. Previously, it was the same game as Assassin's Creed, Need for Speed, Uncharted 3, Resident Evil 6. This game's got it all. And none of it is very good, but it does have it all. Hey guys, it's me, a uh, pointer finger from the cool game Alone in the Dark. I can't talk very fast because this animation has a cooldown. It's, it's kind of a crazy theory, but I noticed earlier when I went to the menu to like load the game, I could fast forward. So kind of skip this. If I hit X right here, we'll skip the sewer section. Are you sure you want to skip? You can? You can just skip parts of the game that suck? Dude, you can just skip the parts that suck. Okay, I'm skipping the sewer level. This is amazing. You can just skip the parts that are bad. That is the best feature ever implemented in a game. And maybe you can't trust Paddington. Yeah, he, he can't himself. trust that guy. He's made of some bad stuffing. Lightbringer is actually 
Lucifer. <gasps> I'm Satan? That would be awesome if my guy is Satan the whole time. If the ending choice is join Satan or not, you know I'm joining Satan. Ooh, toilet check. Let's see. Can I open the toilet doors? Oh, you can open every single stall in the toilet. There we go. Oh, there's a bad guy in here. Where is he? Oh, he's chasing me into the bathroom. Dude, come on. The bathroom is a private area. You're not allowed to come in there. This is the men's room, not the demon's room. I thought that was made very clear by the stick figure sign that did not have devil horns and a pitchfork tail. Oh no, <laughs> lady got absorbed by the homunculus vine. How are we gonna get out of there? Oh, I have a fireman's ax? Cut her in half. Oh, I threw the ax, hang on, give me the ax back. I need the ax, there we go. And cut her in half. Oh, what, what? I thought she got absorbed by, oh, what the, I got a, I got <laughs> quick time CPR, this is incredible. I thought she was a goner. I thought she was gonna be like an alien hive mind boss. Welcome to the Skyrim Iron Sword portion of the game. You may be saying to yourself, I thought the enemies in this game could only be killed by fire. You are correct, making the Skyrim Iron Sword completely worthless. It does look cool though. Oh no. Oh no. No, God, here we go. This is gonna be awful. It looks like he throws, <laughs> he throws knives. His main attack is throwing very small knives. That's clearly what that guy would do. That, that's that guy's fighting style. He's a knife thrower, can't you tell? Try closing your eyes. Oh, when you close your eyes, you can see the professor's ghost pointing. Like a, he's posed like a Gmod ragdoll. That guy was posed with the physics gun in Gmod. Ooh, forklift, can I drive the forklift? You can drive the forklift. I repeat, you can drive the forklift. In the game, alone in the dark, you can drive the forklift and operate the forks on said forklift. This is the best game ever made. Simply the greatest game. And you can run over the headcrabs with the forklift for an instant kill. It's just too good. The game is too good. It's terrible, don't get me wrong, but it's so good. Hmm, where did I put my copy of Uncharted 2? I know it was around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I'm waking up to ash and dust. I wipe my brow as I sweat my rust. I'm breathing in the chemicals. Increase spectral vision to 15 to be able to reveal symbols. Okay, that's gonna be a problem because I have no idea how to increase spectral vision. My spectral vision is at three out of 100 right now. The good feature of this game is you can just skip to the next chunk of the game. So I am going to hit X to skip the giant mandatory open world collectathon. Once again, this is the best game ever. Every game needs this feature. Alone in the dark is the kind of game where you get in a car and you can play with the radio in first person. You can honk in first person by hovering over the wheel and hitting X on it. Not, not a dedicated honk button on the controller, like a unused bumper, no. Go into first person, hover over the horn. You can adjust the headlights, again, in first person by hitting X on the steering wheel. You can lean over to the glove box, open it up, and search it for items. There's bullets in that one. This is probably some kind of illegal taxi. You can do all that stuff for no reason. There's no reason for that to be in the game. It adds nothing to the actual like mechanics of the game. It's just there. After all this time, it turns out that the final challenge of the game is a platforming section. Good thing the game has robust controls that make platforming a breeze. Here we are finally at the ancient cavern of Satan. Behold the holy T-pose with which I will summon the devil. <laughs> is Lucifer inside of a giant fallout vault? Is he in Vault 666? It makes sense that Lucifer lives under New York City. That is where the Yankees are from. Now that the Nuva Cube has been formed, the Borat Cow have infinite powers. I don't really know if I want to fight the devil, guys. I mean, all I have is this crappy pistol. It can't even hurt you. Can it hurt you? No, see, it doesn't even hurt the lady. I don't think this is going to do much against Satan, but I'll give it my best shot. Oh, she took my amulet. Are you gonna fight Satan? Yeah, she can fight Satan, go ahead. Feel free to fight Satan, I'm not gonna stop you. What, kill her or let her live is the option? Can I kill you? No, I can't kill him. Okay, I guess I'll kill her, I don't know. Is killing her the good or bad ending? Who knows? Oh, there she goes. She is really fallen. That was a high cliff. The last free act of man was murder. So is his first free act. I'm the fucking universe! <laughs> what is that guy doing? He's, he's just gonna T-pose into the portal, I guess. It might take him a while, he's kind of far away. Is that the ending? No way, what? What happened? Well, <laughs> there you go. Alone in the dark inferno. 
This is an incredible game. Everybody should play this game once in their life. It's not good, but it has so many systems, so many mechanics. It has a forklift part. Every mechanic that has ever existed throughout all of gaming history is in this game, and none of them work. Like, zero of them work well, but it's got it all. Not a good game, but it is an amazing game. I highly recommend playing this one. <laughs>